Praise the Lord and praise God. God bless you for watching this episode of Seeking the Kingdom podcast. Tonight's episode is season four, episode 36. And we're titling this episode for God's glory, The Lord's Table, A New Covenant. Tonight we're celebrating a great milestone uh, for us, for the glory of God. We're celebrating our 100th episode. Thank you, Lord. And we want to thank God for it. Something that we thought was impossible, Michael. God saw us true for God's glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we want to talk about something that's so special, so meaningful, so holy. Amen. And that's taking part of the Lord's table, Wally. Amen. Uh, I want to thank God that our brothers are here. Michael, Pauls, God bless you. Bless Wally, you. Miller, God bless you. Christopher, God, God bless you. All the wishes. Oh, Mason, Mo, Joshua, we're servants of the Lord. Got down to Miami, Florida. And we want to thank you for watching this episode of Seeking the Kingdom. Christopher, would you open up tonight's program in prayer? Amen. Heavenly Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. To them. We thank you for who you are, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We thank you for tonight, Father God. We thank you for your word, Father God. We thank you for communion, that we get to partake, Father God, of your supper, Mugadil, and partake of your table, Father God. We worship you and we praise you, Father. I pray, Mugadil, that you would bless tonight's word, Father. Bless Joshua as he brings your word. And I pray that you would bless it, Father God, that it would land on good soil, Amen. that you open our Amen. eyes and our Amen. ears to, and our hearts to your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So tonight we're going to be talking about the biblical principles of partaking at the Lord's table. Amen. Communion. Amen. Christopher, can you explain the Greek meaning of communion? Amen. Uh, we get the word from, uh, communion from uh, the Greek word kononia, which is uh, the Strong's G2842. And uh, the definition of that is this. Uh, communion, participation, fellowship, partnership. Thank you, Lord. So not only are we having communion with God, but we're also having fellowship with one another Amen. when we celebrate Amen. at the Lord's table. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, what is the purpose? I want to get this out of the way. The purpose of communion, guys, is not for healing. It doesn't bring no healing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bring no luck or good karma. It doesn't bring salvation, Michael. Wally. And it does not forgive our sins. Another thing that we should keep in mind is very important. Taking part at the Lord's table shouldn't be an act of supplication, presenting our request in front of God. This is a sacred time. Amen. It's a holy time Set apart to just to remember what Jesus Christ done for us on the cross. Amen. God's glory. So, to begin our program, we want to go to 1 Corinthians 11.24. Let's read that. For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until, until he comes. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, as the scripture says, it is a remembrance of what Jesus done. Thank you, Lord. Also, Christopher, it symbolically represents his body. Amen. And the blood represents, the, the juice represents the blood. Amen. Chris, can you explain a little bit about that? It's just, uh, I think I heard a guy say, a pastor, oh, Michael Yosef, um, the, Jesus says that he's the bread of life. And Amen. when he says he's the bread of life, uh, bread goes through a milling process. Amen. And the Bible says that it, it pleased God to crush Jesus on the cross. So that crushing, bread is crushed, it's milled, and the bread also rises. Amen. Jesus Christ rose. Amen. The juice, the blood, uh, is it, crushed. And also that uh, the, the blood brought joy to us Amen. now having communion Amen. and fellowship with Christ. Amen. So it's a celebration. Christopher. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, what does it symbolize? It symbolizes just that. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we read in Matthew 26, 28, Mark 14, 22 through 25, Luke 22, 17 through 20, and we just read it, 1 Corinthians 11, 25. That all is talking about communion. Mm -hmm. Michael, can you read your scripture, please? Which is Mark 14, 22, 25. 
And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. Surely I say to you, I will no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until I drink until I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Wally, can you read your scripture, please? Which is Luke 22, 7, 17 through 20. Then he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it. Then he said, Take this and share it among yourselves, for I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God has come. He took some bread, gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took another cup of wine and said, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, in an agreement confirmed with my blood, which is poured out as a sacrifice Amen. for you. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Thank so, you, guys, those three scriptures that we read were very similar, okay? And they all signify the same thing. That's right. It's telling us to remember Jesus when we partake at the Lord's table. And not only that, it signifies the new covenant that Amen. we have in Jesus Christ. Amen. So what is a covenant? A covenant is an agreement between two parties. But it's more than a contract. Sometimes a contract will expire after so many months or years. This new covenant, Wally, is a lifetime agreement. Thank you, Thank Lord. you Jesus. Thank you, so, Michael, why is it a new covenant? The old covenant that was established with Israel was based on God's law to Moses and the faithfulness and obedience to, to them by God's people. To maintain a healthy relationship with God, they had to follow this old covenant. That's right. Michael, we could never accomplish this, and God knew that. Right. He knew we needed a perfect sacrifice to give his body and pour out his blood to atone for our sins that we may be righteous in God's eyes. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This perfect sacrifice restored an internal relationship with God, establishing the new covenant. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So here's a question. Why should I partake at the Lord's table? Something we just found out today for God's glory it's an ordinance from Jesus Christ hmm. to remember his love, his grace, and his mercy. So many obeyed ordinance. It was something that was directly given by Jesus Christ. We just read the scriptures. It's an order to partake at the Lord's it's an table. Order, it's a command. Amen. So as we remember his love, grace, and mercy, what better way to remember it than to read Isaiah 53 for God's glory? Who has believed what he has heard from us? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form of majesty that we should look at him and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief as one from who men hide their faces he was despised and we esteemed him not surely he has borne our griefs and carry our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by god and afflicted but he was pierced for our transgressions you, he was crushed for our iniquities upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace and with his wounds we are healed all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned every one to his own ways, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed, he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shears is silent, so he opened not his mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for suffering, for dying, a, a murderer's death on the cross that we may inherit the kingdom of heaven, Amen. that the wrath of God would no longer be upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As we remember that, guys, 
how beautiful and we should always thank God when we are at this partake at this table what he has done for us amen Man. so here's a popular question amongst the Gomania guys can I take communion or partake at the Lord's Supper when I'm upset mm. or angry with someone it's a very popular question and the simple answer to that question guys is absolutely you should always partake at the Lord's table anytime this table is offered to you you should partake in it why to remember what Jesus Christ the Lord has Amen. done for Amen. us and what should that do guys our application is this as we remember what Jesus Christ done for us Wally we should reflect on what he's done for us by doing the same for others he loved us that he died for died for us on the cross thank you so we should love others Amen. we should we should reflect that we should also re reflect forgiving others That's right as he forgave us we should forgive others Amen. to back this up with scripture Christopher can you please read John 13 34 to 35 amen a new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you thank you Jesus. you are also are to love one another yeah. by this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another amen amen so that's our application amen as we come to the Lord's table and as we remember what Jesus Christ done for us that should reflect out to others we should remember that Jesus Christ forgave us so we should forgive others amen. how he loved us we should love others amen and that was the message tonight that's Thank another you, order as well amen amen, amen. So let's thank God now in prayer. Uh, we always pray for uh, the, the comments and the DMs that we receive on Instagram. Mm -hmm. People are praying for their loved ones to come from jail, come home from jail. We pray that they come home safely. People are praying for their children to be set free from autism Amen. and all the uh, other sicknesses. We pray for them. And we also pray for everyone mm -hmm. who's in the hospital sick with Nasfarimos. We ask God to heal them from cancer, diabetes, heart trouble, uh, kidney problems. Uh, so that being said, Wally, would you close us out in prayer? Yes. Father, we come before you tonight, Mordan. And Lord, we thank you, Mordan, for your grace and your mercy, yes, Mordan. Lord. We thank you, Mordan, for your love towards us, Mordan. At that, Mordan, we bring before you your children, your people, Mordan. Whoever, Mordan, we're asking, Mordan, that you would set your people free, Mordan. With that beda, whatever it may be, Mordan. I pray, Mordad, that you would give, Mordad, your people favor in the sight of God and man, Mordil. Devla, whoever is in the hospitals that's sick, Mordad, whoever is dealing, Mordad, with sickness, Mordad. Lord, we know, Mordad, you are the God that heals, Mordad. So we're praying complete healing, Pirendi, Mordad, complete restoration, Mordil. Lord, we're praying for your children to speak, Mordad. Devla, we've seen answered prayers, Mordad. And we're asking, Mordad, that the children we're praying for, that you would heal them in the name of Jesus, Mordad, that they would speak your praises, that they would Amen. speak, Mordad, of your glory, Mordad, and what you've done for them, Mordad. Lord, we're praying, Mordad, in the name of Jesus, Mordad, that you take full control, Mordad. And Lord, give your people peace, joy, Mordad, and Mordad, that they would always remember, Father, what you've done for them, Mordad. And Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Praise the Lord and praise God. Thank you for listening to this episode of Seeking the Kingdom. God willing, we plan to have a new episode for you every Friday and every Saturday morning. Please continue to be a part of what God is doing at Kingdom of God Ministry in Miami, Florida. We kindly ask that you share this episode, describe and follow us. It would help the show to reach other people that we may further the Kingdom of God. We also ask that you keep us at the church in your daily prayers. God bless.